Good morning, friends. I hope you are all well. Today, we are going to look at using numbers and letters to create different cartoon animals. I have posted a lot of different tutorials and ideas on or in the, the Google Classroom. So go there to check it out. But there are also millions of different tutorials on the internet. So if you have some time today, you can look through those and get some great ideas too. So here's a here's some that I um, was drawing last night. And this is a absolutely new process for me, so I'm kind of excited to share it with you. So here I have a little scene that I drew, and that's kind of your goal at the end of this project, is to create kind of a, a funny or cute scene uh, with your animals that you've created using numbers and letters, or maybe some kind of comic strip. Um, it's all up to you. But I want you to create something that has a complete um, environment. So I put a bunch of these birds that I made with the number three um, in this big tree, and I added a bee, also made out of a number three, and a snail made out of the lowercase letter A, and a unicorn made out of a capital letter Y to kind of complete my, my scene. I'm just going to go over a few of these ideas with you, and then I'm going to um, let you get started on your own. Alright, so here we go. So the first one I want to show you is one of my favorites, which is this cute little mouse using the number two. So, here is my number two. My next step then is I'm going to start here, about right here on this curve, and I'm going to make a triangle that comes around, and I've just made the mouse's body. Here I'm going to put the mouse's eye, and then his little whiskers. This is kind of like the letter M, or an upside down 3 for his ears. And then here is his curly cute little tail. Now maybe I'm going to draw some cheese. and put some holes in it, and he's going to say, yay, cheese. Now when you make a speech bubble, it's best to write the, the words first, and then make the speech bubble. I can't tell you how many times I've made a speech bubble, and my words are not able to fit in um, the bubble. Great. So here's another example. Here's the bird that I've been making. You take the number three and you kind of put it on a slant, like that. And then you draw this long, I guess it would be like a number one. And then from here, I'm going to draw the bird's belly. I'm going to kind of extend that tail a little bit. And here's the beak. And his eye. Some feathers. And legs. Now you could fancy this up a little bit by making maybe a plume up here or by making the tail a little bit thicker. It's all up to you, but a lot of these you can make a little bit um, more detailed by just adding a few more lines. Maybe she's going to say, um, I love worms. And then my speech bubble. Right, so let's look at a bunny. I've been drawing a bunny with the letter B, which is kind of cool. Sometimes you want to draw a little bit lighter because you're going to erase some of your lines. So here's a capital letter B. My next step is I want to draw the bunny's ears. They look just like that. Then the eye. Then a triangle for the nose, and a little smile, and the foot comes down here just like that, 
and then his other foot on the other side and then here is his arm. Wow, he's got a big old belly, doesn't he? Then I could add some whiskers if I wanted. I could add some more details on the inside. And he's going to say, where are my carrots? Question mark. Exclamation point. I guess he might be really hungry. Anyway. So there's another one. Let me show you the cute snail that I've been drawing. You start with a lowercase a, and then what you do is you extend the a to come up like this, and then this is going to be his body. So it's almost kind of like a funny shaped letter U, a really long U. And then I'm going to make his little antennas, which have his eyeballs attached here and here. He's going to have a smile. We have, I can't forget the swirl. And then his little slug foot. And so that is the slug I've been drawing, or the snail I've been drawing with the letter A. Let's do the unicorn. So the unicorn starts with a capital letter Y, just like that. And then my next step is to make the horn. Let me put some. All right. And then what I'm going to do is draw one of the ears. And then I want to draw the other ear. It looks just like that. And then from here, I'm going to draw the face. And so here's his eyes, nose, and mouth. And from there, I'm going to draw his body. So this is his neck right here. And then here's his mane and his tail and there's some rectangles for the legs and there's a little hoof and another rectangle and then he's getting ready to go prancing and we could have him say look for rainbows Great. So there's some tutorials, and like I said, there's a whole bunch more that are on uh, the Google Classroom. Now, when I make my scene, after I've drawn everything, I took my Sharpie marker and I started to outline it so that it would really stand out. Then I could use my markers or ch change my markers into watercolors and um, add some color. So I am definitely going to add some color to this, but you all know how to color. So I'm not going to show you um, how to do that. My one word of advice, though, is make sure that you don't draw your animals too small. Now, I made these birds a little bit tiny, but I think I can handle it. But if you make your animals too small, they're hard to color and hard to add detail. Anyway, I can't wait to see what you've created. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.